So far, we've studied a couple of different types of notes. Quarter notes are our main pulse and are counted one, two, three, four. And eighth notes are exactly twice as fast as quarter notes and are counted one and two and three and four and. Now we're going to introduce a new type of note called sixteenth notes. As the name implies, there will be sixteen notes in every bar which means that these notes will be twice as fast as eight notes and four times that of quarter notes. The notation shows a bar of quarter notes, a bar of eighth notes and a bar of sixteenth notes on the snare drum. Underneath the exercise are the old counts one, two, three, four, along with one and two and three and four and and now we've included a new count for 16th notes. 1 E and uh, 2 E and uh, 3 E and uh, 4 E and... Uh. This is what the exercise sounds like. Exercise 1. One, two, three, four. It's important to keep counting at all times. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a. Or if you have to, use words to help you remember the speeds of the notes. For example, ant, 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 ant. Spider, 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 caterpillar, 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 caterpillar. Listen to the click and line up all your notes carefully. There should be one hit for every click when playing quarter notes, two hits per click when playing eighth notes, and four hits per click when playing sixteenth notes. Okay. Now let's try a drum kit version of this exercise with just your lead hand on the hi-hat and your non-lead hand on the snare. We've got to be really careful about the speed of this next exercise as we're only using one hand on the hi-hat. Let's not start off too fast. Exercise 2 1 2 Three, four. Repeat these first two exercises many times, and remember to take things slowly at first. Before we can use these notes around the drums, I'd like to just practice a few snare exercises to make sure that the transition from 8th notes to 16th notes and back again are nice and smooth. You'll notice the next few exercises have the bass drum playing quarter notes. I suggest having a go at the exercises without the bass drum until you're confident with your hands, then just add it in later. 
I'll play all these next exercises without bass drum two times, then add it in for two more times. Exercise 3. One, two, three, four. Exercise 4 1, 2, 3, 4 Exercise 5 1, 2, 3, 4 Exercise 6 1, 2, 3, 4 Once you've mastered these exercises, we can have a go at moving some 8th notes and 16th note combinations around the drums. Exercise 7 1, 2, 3, 4 Exercise 8 1, 2, 3, 4 Let's put all this together now and incorporate our rock beat 
starting with a crash cymbal on beat 1 of the first bar, and play a short chorus type groove and fill using a mixture of 8th notes and 16th notes. Exercise 9 One, two, three, four. Here's another exercise using a whole bar of 16th notes as a fill. Exercise 10 1, 2, 3, 4 And finally, a sneaky one that features both a groove and fill that have a mixture of 16th notes and 8th notes combined. Exercise 11 1, 2, 3, 4 Being familiar with quarter notes, eighth notes and sixteenth notes is going to allow you to play a much more varied vocabulary on the drum kit. These exercises are crucial building blocks for playing pop and rock based music. See if you can find some songs with eighth note and sixteenth note based groove or fills in them and then why not try playing along to them. Good luck! and bye for now.